my name is Michelle and I would like to introduce myself as the newest on-air talent for various projects that your team is currently working for. Uh, thank you so much for allowing me this opportunity and allowing me to highlight and also express my passion in being in the culinary division for your team. My background comes from a scientific background where I've worked as a food chemist in research and development and a nutritionist, but don't hold that against me. I actually love being in the kitchen and I choose to immerse myself as a cook rather than being in a lab and donning on the very boring white lab coat. So I was asked to actually talk about a bit about myself and also share a recipe with you. So I thought with the very hot New York heat outside, I would do something that didn't involve turning on the stove or kitchen um, and lighting it up on fire because this isn't, isn't my apartment and I'm crashing with a friend. So something very basic and very simple that I'm making today is called a beach muesli. So I hope that you're aware of that. It's sort of a cross between a porridge and also the lovely granola. But it's a bit more delicate and also you'll just enjoy it and love it. So, and the best thing about it is you can prepare it easily ahead of time and just pop it in the fridge. So all you need is basically a container because you're going to be eating it over the week. And also some oats and dried fruit, fresh fruit, milk and also some bran if you want to just sort of give it a bit more of a health kick. So basically what you do is first of all you start with an apple and you want to grate it because you want to have it sort of easily edible and in bite sized pieces for your guests. So this makes a really great recipe for those Sunday brunches where you're just late and you don't want to cook or even if you're just a working person and you have to get grab breakfast to go. It's fantastic, it doesn't take long to make and like I said you can store it in the fridge for a long time. So basically you want to grate your apple and because I don't have a grater, I'm going to cut it and impress you with my beautiful knife skills. You don't want to use these little knives here to cut apples or anything like that because you probably will end up cutting your little fingers and ruining your nail polish which isn't very fun, not when you just do self manicures. Um, and so I'm going to talk a little bit about myself while I sort of cut this apple and grate it. Um, my, I love cooking and my education actually stems from various courses that I've taken in Japan, Taiwan, Australia and also in North America for baking classes and also just starting from a beginner and moving my way up. My talents probably come more from my mum's side of the family where my grandpa owned a dumpling shop but which still exists in LA and I highly recommend it. And I just love travelling and being able to move around and eat my way through the different neighbourhoods of North America and internationally. I've travelled to China and had live goat and fresh horse milk, which was a bit of an adventure but fun in itself. And also I've just had the chance to eat natto, soy fermented beans in Japan and also just had New York style pizza. That's what I love. A lot of people sort of explain me as the female Anthony Bodine with the heart and passion of Oprah, the knowledge of Dr. Oz and also the adventures of um, Guy Fieri. So it's a bit of a mixture but I love who I am and this is what I do because I love to eat, travel and talk about it. So basically you just put all your grated apple in a container and the best thing about this recipe as well is that there's no measurements. So people who don't have measuring cups or who just don't like whipping out and doing a lot of washing, this is for you. Pour in a handful of oats. Um, I've got the oats mixed with the bran so I'm not going to add in more bran to this one. And then sort of choose what you want to put in in terms of dry fruit. I've got some really good papaya. Um, and also Turkish apricots and also sultanas. So I'm just going to stick with the good old fashioned California sultanas and put it in with my oats and my apple. And that's about it. So basically, you get this, do that. I'm just going to grab the milk, I'm not going anywhere. And you just pour in and mix everything together. Make sure that the milk does pass over all your ingredients because you want it to soak nicely in. You can also add some um, apple juice to sweeten it up, but the dried fruit will do all that for you. Give it a good mix. And there you have it. Like, 
we put a container, you put a lid on it, store it in the fridge, it'll last for about five days. Sorry for ducking in and out of the cupboard there. And also, when you do eat it, you just serve it with a dollop of yogurt or an whipped cream for those decadent Sunday mornings that you just have to have a little something special. And you just enjoy. So I hope that you sort of see my ability to move in and out of the kitchen. I love being around food and I love talking about it. So I hope you'll allow me to present myself to your team in further highlighting why I'm perfect, if not necessity, in joining your team. I just want to bring all my worldly travels to your network and I hope that you'll allow me to knock away all the competition, all those food and talk show hosts who think they know food, talk to me first and let's see what I can bring to your team. Thank you for this opportunity and I look forward to hearing from you soon.